Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. We just finished having breakfast. We went for a nice little breakfast date this morning. It was nice. Yeah, because we were both up super early at like 4.30. Yeah, so we went out for breakfast nice and early. It's 8 a.m. right now, we're already done breakfast. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> uh, so now we're gonna go back home. I'm gonna finish editing yesterday's video and then we'll start uploading it and then we gotta go out and do some filming for Alex. Got a couple of, uh, got a couple of videos to film. I'm filming a workout routine, guys. Um, cause I've been getting so many, I've been talking about in the vlogs, like my workout and stuff yeah. and I've been getting a lot of questions about like exactly what I do. So, I mean, like I said, it's always kind of the same. I guess I'm going to explain like in detail what I like to do and what I like to do in the summertime and like to get ready for summer. And you'll get to show it. Yeah, exactly. And we're, we're probably going to do some like cool drone footage in it too, which will be awesome. Mm. Cause I've never done that. Yeah. Well, that was your suggestion. It was, was mine. Good. Suggestion. So we're gonna go do that after I'm done that editing. That just was staring at me so weird. Did you see that? No, I didn't see. He was like. <laughs> Maybe he saw us talking to ourselves and he thought we were weirdos. Why would? Actually, how would he know? I know because ourselves? we're just talking to each other. Uh... That makes no sense. Actually, that reminds me. Yesterday, I saw. Uh, what? That reminds me. <laughs> you know, like when a light bulb turns on, like in the Bing. cartoons. Bing. <laughs> uh, when I was driving yesterday, there was a car in front of me that I saw, and I. I like actually thought for a second, like the guy was in the passenger seat and the, the woman was driving. I actually thought he was hitting her. What? Like it looked like he was punching her. And I would like, I got like this gut in my, like this feeling in my stomach. I was like, oh my God, what the hell is going on? And I was like looking at them. And then I realized they were like, they were play hitting each other with water bottles. Oh. Like like tapping each other like on the like on the shoulder or like on the leg or stuff and they were laughing But like my gut instinct because I was like looking around and out of the corner of my eye I, All I saw is him doing this <gasps> and I was like, oh my god Like I thought he was hitting her in the face and uh, but it wasn't it was okay. Well, he was play hitting her. Yeah They were like play hitting each other. We do that sometimes Yeah, like right now. Shh. No, but not in the car We usually do it like at my house yeah. or at your house on the couch or whatever will like be annoying Well, they were at a red light. So whatever. Okay, I was gonna say that's kind of dangerous yeah. But it was funny <laughs> After your gut like instinct went away. Yeah. Does that make sense what I just said? Probably not. <laughs> Hey guys, we're having this discussion right now about Friends. If you guys watch Friends, then you'll totally know like what we're talking about, but Dan thinks season four is the best. I personally like season six just because I hate Emily. But I, I might I might her. change my opinion because we just started a rewatch, like, when did we start? Like a month ago? I don't know. Anyway, so like now, but the way it works is like if we kind of miss an episode here and there, we don't like go back and rewatch because we've no, seen it. Matter. Like we've seen it so many times, so we just sort of like skip through it as we go. So now we're in like the, almost near the end of season four. And there was like a streak I remember I was watching like four or five episodes in a row that were like, I was like, oh my God, this episode's so good. And then the next one was like, oh, this episode's so good. So I was like, oh, season four is for sure the funniest. But like, I know oh, season, season, six. season six is also very good. It's Chandler and Monica. So I'll have to rewatch like and, and decide like if season six is better. And I know like, I don't remember which one it is, eight, nine or 10, like, it might be nine. Is it with Mike? Yeah, like when Paul Rudd joins in and like yeah. the whole the whole part, even though I don't like Joey dating Rachel, I still find it funny. Yeah, that, with Ross. Th that, that whole like arc, if you want to call it like <laughs> that story arc. So I don't remember if that's nine or 10. I think that's nine. I think it's nine. And then when they go to Bahamas and Monica's hair Isn't pops up or whatever. And then uh, and they're playing ping pong and Mike's like so funny. He's like, oh yeah. I'm awesome. Yeah, so like I like one of that one of those seasons too. So I'll have to finish rewatching and then I'll decide. But right now, like season four is so good. So funny. I just love season six. I always just have season six on my computer. So if ever like I want to watch it and I don't have access to like Netflix or something, I'll you just, can just watch it. Yeah, so good. And the office season three I have on my computer. Oh, that's well. the best office season. Yeah. I love it. Office, Office season three and Friends season six are my favorites. Yeah. I mean, it's because I love season four as well in Friends, but like. But honestly, The Office, like season three, four, five, six, and seven, halfway through seven, because once Michael leaves, it's not as funny. But like three, four, five, six, and half of seven are so good. One and two is like, eh, it's okay. The last like, episode is so good. In The Office? Yeah, and I like know. Catherine was telling, Catherine goes like, was saying how like she's never felt more satisfied with an ending of a show. I know, it's so good. Like it's just perfect. Like everyone just has such a good ending and everything just like falls into place. And at first I was like, no, Friends is so good. And she's like, yeah, but I never felt like Joey had a good ending because they had that weird spinoff show. And I was like, oh, it's true. Yeah. I was, it's like, I never thought of that before. Yeah, because in Friends, like Monica and, and Chandler are married and then they move into the house and then Rachel and, and Ross get back together and Phoebe marries Mike and yeah. then Joey's just sort of like 
bad. Like he's just sort of there. He's just happy always. Joey reminds me so much of my dad in so many ways. Like obviously not the like man whore, but like <laughs> like his character and stuff like reminds me so much of my dad. And even you were saying you're like a lot of things Joey does reminds me of your dad. But he does because in the show I know Matt LeBlanc is not actually Italian, but in the show he's Italian, so he does a lot of Italian things. Yeah. And that's it's a lot of things your dad does, like yeah. the super like loud and like moving your hands around. And kind of like not that my dad is like an idiot because Joey sometimes is an idiot, but my dad sometimes like. It's like spacey. I don't know if that's the word. Just like makes jokes like, I don't know how to explain it. Like I watch Joey and I'm like, that's my dad. Like, yeah, it's, it's, so hard, funny. it's hard to explain. That's why I think Joey's like my favorite character. But I also really love, I, I love all of them. I just don't really like Ross and I don't really like one. Guys, look at how weird this is. This is right beside Alex's house where I parked the car. Look at how many ants there are. Jesus. They go all the way over there too. But look at this. It's like insane. There's so many. It's crazy. I've never seen that before. So we are now off to do my workout routine. And I was gonna put makeup on, because normally I'm so used to putting makeup on before my video, but I was like, I obviously in the vlog sometimes I wear makeup when I work out, but I don't typically put on makeup in the morning before I go to my workout. So I wanted to make this as like real as possible. So I'm not wearing any makeup and yeah, I'm loving it. Do you like it? Very cute. Do you like my spots? Spots? On my face. What, your pimples? Yeah, a little bit. Do you love them? Yeah, I do. <laughs> so we just finished filming my like all my uh, workout stuff, which actually took a lot longer than we thought because the we were stupid trouble. Osmo thing was not working to how we, to how we liked it. How we liked it. So we ended up just calling Pat and being like, "How do we work this?" Well, it wasn't it wasn't doing what we thought it could do. Like we thought it could do a certain thing. Dan's not just dancing, by the way. No, I'm <laughs> fixing the drone. He's doing drone footage. Yeah, we thought it could do a certain thing, but it turns out it can't do what we thought. So we were trying to figure out how to make it do it, and we were like getting so mad because we're like, it's not working. And then Pat was like, oh no, it doesn't actually do that. It, it does this, and we're like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, we are not hitting anyone. Practicing not being close to people anymore. <laughs> Hopefully we don't hit any birds. All right guys, that was a good morning of filming. Alex just headed out with Kyla and her friend Kristen. They went to go get some lunch and I am headed off to work. So I will see you guys a little bit later. I'm working a bit later today because I'm uh, helping coach with another group after my practice is over. So I'm gonna be home a little bit later tonight. But after that, I'll get to hang out with Alex again. So we're back at Mandy's. I got my salad. Kyla got a salad too. <laughs> and so did Kristen. And she also took a menu. So cute! Yeah, that's the English side. And I just love like the floors here. I think they're so cool. So cute. Kyla's salad. Oh wow. Oh, I did put tomatoes. That's what I forgot. Yeah. Dang. Can't forget the tomatoes. It's a wolf bowl. Yeah. I just make my own. So we are now going out to 10 because it's so hot out and I'm just wearing my same swim bikini. I have been the worst at vlogging today and I sincerely apologize. I was out tanning with Kyla for so long and then I came in and finished editing my video and now I'm just processing that so I can upload it to be going up for you this weekend. I'm filming myself. <laughs> And I'm uploading two videos this weekend, one on Saturday and one on Sunday, obviously, because there's only two days of the weekend. <laughs> oh, I'm so weird. Oh, right. Yeah. Anyways, one on Saturday, one on Sunday. And one of them is my spring get ready with me for like nighttime, so get unready with me kind of thing. And then um, I also filmed my Paris, well I obviously filmed it, my Paris travel diary and I asked you guys on Instagram which one you want to see first, the travel diary or the get ready with me and uh, everyone, like majority of them or majority of you guys said travel diary so I'm gonna put that up on Sunday. So I'm excited, get ready for those two videos. I was gonna put one up on Wednesday but then I figured like I kind of like putting two up at once, it's kind of a little surprise like for you guys like once in a while and I don't know, it's like kind of fun so that's what I'm doing. I smell really bad right now. Like, oh 
oh my god when i tan outside when i'm out for some reason like i stink like so bad tmi i know when i go for like workouts and stuff i have like a really good deodorant that i never stink ever but for some reason when i'm tanning I don't know what it is because I don't use oil or anything. I just stink. I don't know. Does that happen to anyone? Like, I feel like I smell like burnt skin. It's like such a weird thing, but it's the truth, you know? Just being real with you guys right now. Sorry, Dan. <laughs> I know you're so attracted to me when I say I stink. <laughs> so, what's up? Give me the 411. Oh, hi. <laughs> Alex is filming me while I'm talking to the phone. Look at him. Watch how you do it tonight. He's so cute. Smell my foot. Smell my foot. Oh, oh god. Oh my god, he's so hairy. Mm -hmm. He's so hairy. For real, what's different with your eyebrows? A lot of people are commenting that now. Did you do anything different? I think it's because you're not wearing any makeup, but then you fill in your eyebrows. Maybe. Yeah, they look like thicker almost. Really? Yeah. I don't know. They I look like good. Them. I've mm -hmm. been growing them. They look amazing. And then there's mine. <laughs> or mine. Yeah, I take after my mom. So do I though. My eyebrows are naturally not very dark. How the heck do you get them like that? Can you teach me? Well, because I have a really good eyebrow shape. It's just that I, I like I put a little bit of color on them. How do I get that shape? But you don't have the same eyebrow shape as me naturally. Exactly what I'm saying. I'm like mom. But it's weird because <laughs> when I do mom's eyebrows, I can make her have more of a shape. But when I do your eyebrows, it's it's because you pluck your eyebrows too much. So I don't pluck fair. them. I literally just take away the little bit that's on my uh, eyebrow, my eyebrow, my eyebrow bone. I don't shape them ever. That's why probably. That's probably why, because that's why it's hard to make them have a shape because it's like, too like. Like one time, like for a photo shoot, a girl did my eyebrows and they were like perfect, but then they grew out and I didn't know how to fix them. Oh my god. So where's what? Dad? <gasps> this is my favorite Instagram account other than uh, the tiger one there. Black jaguar, white tiger. Wait. Oh my golly, they're so excited. Oh. Hi, Daddy. Yes, yes, Daddy's here. Relax. Relax, yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Did Dad ever see this? Oh, oh. Did you ever see this, Alex? What is it? Kata sent it to me. Oh my god, it's the goop. It's wait, a hippopotamus. Wait, wait, a baby hippo. Oh my god, that is so cute. So it's the goop. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Dad. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Good, you? Good. I bought some pizza dough. They don't have non gluten dough. That's okay. Can I'm going to try it. I'm going to. Oh, I didn't even talk about this in like these vlogs. On my channel in Paris, I tried a little bit of like a regular croissant and a little bit of baguette bread, like a tiny bit, because I was like, I'm not gonna come here and not try it. And I said that like, if I get sick, I don't care, it's worth it, I just need to try it, because like, I'm never gonna like be able to try this again. So I tried it and I didn't get sick. And my doctor did tell me like a while ago that you can get a gluten, like you can become gluten intolerant and you can lose it randomly in your lifetime. Like, <laughs> you can, like get disgusting. not get rid of it but it can like leave so i think i'm gonna slowly start incorporating it into my diet like very very small amounts and see how i react because no. i haven't been getting like any symptoms so if my if, if you okay. make pizza daddy yeah, really try it? a little piece yeah okay, good. and then if that i get sick then i'll know what? that it was just a coincidence in Paris. Just Maybe it was just what? that one time that it was good. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Slowly, like little pieces what? at a time. So I don't like sharing drinks. I find it gross because like backwash. I don't know. I'm just, it's in my head. I don't like sharing water bottles. I don't like sharing drinks with straws. I don't share drinks with Daniel, even though we kiss. Mm. That's, that's why I don't like sharing drinks with Rye because we're already kissing. Ugh, I can't. For me, it's a spit thing. Like your spit's going back in the drink, and like I'm drinking your saliva. And bleh. Mind mm -hmm. you, last night in the movies when you were talking about it, it got me gross. <laughs> I knew it. I knew because you're like, I'm gonna take a sip before you. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy, I don't know what to eat for dinner. I was actually thinking that. What should I make? I heard you say that, and I'm like, great. Why do you have to like bring that up to Kyle? <laughs> because it's never. It does. Like I think of it on my own, but like it doesn't bother me because I'm like, whatever. I'm already kissing him. Grilled cheese sandwich. But then when I picture the backwash, I get grossed out. Yeah. Grilled cheese sandwich. We don't have that. We don't have cheese, and like I want to make like a good dinner, not like a grilled cheese sandwich. Well, you said I should... gonna try. No, your pizza. If you make the pizza, no, I'll he's try not it. it tonight. I know. I don't mean tonight. I just meant like when he makes it, I'll try a piece. I should probably wait for Dan. Oh no, he's working late tonight. Never mind. 
So I just got a bunch of stuff from Too Faced In, but I already have like it all, so I gave a bunch of them to Kyla. And these are <laughs> all the ones I gave her. <laughs> Can I show them? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna do a little haul video. This one is Chocolate Soleil in medium deep. Yeah, it's just a bronzer. Nice. Like that. Nice. Looks good. That's yeah. the one I use for my uh Yeah, I always look at that one too when you use it. Snow Bunny, luminous bronzer. Nice. Gorgeous. That's like good. a blush slash. This one is Sun Bunny, natural bronzer. Nice. This one is like kind of like a blush too. Yeah, and a highlight. It's Loves a it when I get dark this summer. This is Pink Leopard, blushing bronzer. Ooh, this one's cool. Yeah, that's super cool. Then you mix it all together yeah. and it gets like a really cool. That's like a blush highlight. Blush bronzer. This one is Beach Bunny Custom Blend Bronzer. Nice. Gorgeous. And then you want to tell them what else happened today? <gasps> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so I'm so excited. <laughs> my sister surprised me and a friend, my best friend. With so many dollars tickets! <laughs> Eighth row. On the floor. You're so cute. I'm so excited. Kyla loves Selena Gomez. Oh my god, I freaking love her. She's like the only celebrity that I'm like, ow, I hit myself. I know, because really Kyla, like, the one thing you have to know about her is Kyla does not care about celebrities but Selena at Gomez. all. Selena Gomez. Except for Selena Gomez and Tanya Burr. Like, those are like the two people you care about. Everyone else you could not give two S's about. Oh my god, I love Selena Gomez so much. <laughs> it's not even normal how much I'm obsessed with her. I know. Oh my she God. follows this account, can I say? Yeah. She follows this account on Instagram called like Selena videos or something. Videos of Gomez. <laughs> Where they update with... Like everything, like <laughs> interviews with her, anything she's doing, like her concerts, everything. This is I was funny. Like, this is the perfect account for me. It's funny because Kyla is not like this. Like it's so <laughs> funny because anytime I've had an opportunity to like meet a celebrity or something or like just do something cool with a celebrity like I've always obviously been like hi do you want to come and she's always like no like I don't care I'm like what like that's, that's such a cool opportunity to like meet so-and-so or whatever and like she's like no but like when it comes to Selena Gomez like she's obsessed with her like, <laughs> I love Selena Gomez so much <laughs> I always told Ryan I was cuz like me and Ryan have like like the celebrity like the one celebrity that you could hook up with oh my god I'm and mine is Selena Gomez <laughs> <laughs> Who's his? Uh, Jennifer Aniston. Oh, really? Yeah. Rachel from Friends. Yeah. She's hot. I love yeah, her. Yeah, she is. But I also said uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Like, but like, if it actually realistic. were to happen, would you actually be okay with it? That's the real with question. With him hooking up with her? Yeah. No. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I can't say because like. Because everyone always says that with, like, the whole, like, oh, it actually will never happen, so we could just, yeah. like, pretend, but then sometimes it does happen. <laughs> yeah. But, I don't know. I feel like he wouldn't be okay with me hooking up with, like, he, when I told him that I've, like, kissed some of my girlfriends sometimes just, like, as a joke. What? Like, in the past. Oh, like, not when you're dating him. Yeah, no, like, just, like. But, like, I'm, why? Like, just, like, if you're, when you're drunk. Oh, okay, really okay. Stupid. Um, and he's like, really? I would consider that cheating. I was like, even if I just, like, pecked a girlfriend on, like, the lips, just, like, as a joke, he's like, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't like Daniel pecking his guy friends on the lips. I know, but that's... It's not different. That's okay. double standards. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you're not doing why, it. Like, you're not doing it for guys to think you're hot. Thought, my ex thought it was hot. Yeah, but your ex was... Weird. A guido. No, not him. The other one. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, but you guys are also super young, and, like, yeah. it's, like, you know... Kyla, you're obsessed with touching your hair. I know. I'm obsessed with, I'm obsessed with Selena Gomez. <laughs> I'm fucking... I love her so much. You're so cute. I'm so excited. You have this one hair that's stuck to your forehead, and it's really bothering me. And I was, like, in such a bad mood before. Oh, my God, it's I'm not moving. I'm getting my period. <laughs> and, like, now I get to go see Selena Gomez. <laughs> And you're gonna be so close to her. I'm gonna, I'm literally gonna see her like up close. Kyla. It's not gonna be like I'm just at a concert and like she's from like afar. Like yeah. I'm actually gonna see, like I'm gonna see like the details on her face. I just filled in my eyebrows. But they do look really thick and like kind of like Dracula right now from this angle. Oh my god. <laughs> that is not good. I think it's because you have this like hair coming down like the triangle from Dracula. <laughs> I actually thing. watched um, Shawnee Grimmond. She got eyebrow Who's tattoos. That? Now that I think of it. She's a, what's it called, an Australian YouTuber, I think. She's oh. Australian or from New Zealand. Oh, I just cracked my knee. But, um, oh, look at these sunglasses that Too Faced sent me. 
They're like key with Too Faced. Can you open this? Can you take them out? Oh. They're cute. Try them on. I can't open them. I have so much <gasps> makeup. They're huge on me. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, Kyla. Little yeah. small head. <laughs> <laughs> did you guys like that little clip of Alex I just did? <laughs> so big uh, big jump forward through time here. Yesterday I got home from work a little bit later. I got home around 8 o'clock. And then we ordered a pizza because we were both hungry. And uh, what did we do after that? Yeah. Oh, because we were eating downstairs with your parents. We were watching that movie, yeah. The Gallows, on TV for a bit. And then I came upstairs to do some work. And then Alex came upstairs after and then she fell asleep. So yeah, we didn't end up filming last night, so now we're filming this morning. <laughs> my hair was a little bit messy, and oh my god, I smell terrible. <laughs> last night was like the first real night of summer, where it was like really freaking hot, and I was so sweaty. We had no spring, we went straight to summer. Like literally, we went from like 8 degrees to 25. No slow increase, but this weekend it's supposed to cool down again to like 15 or 13. It's gonna be 11. Oh, 11, even colder. So annoying. But yeah, yesterday was really hot, so I slept and then I sweat a lot and now I'm sticky and I need to go shower. We're but both saying how like we smell. We do smell. We Well, when you sweat, you smell. Most people do at no, least. No, not me. So I'm finished editing the video except for this, so I'm going to throw this in. And I feel bad because there was something, <laughs> on like the first day in Paris, there was something someone commented that they wanted me to talk about in the video. And I said I would save it uh, for when we got home, but I forget what it was. And I looked yesterday, like I was searching through the comments trying to find it. I couldn't find it, so if you're watching this... Comment down below if you have something you'd like me to talk about. I can't remember what it was about, and I'm really mad. I'm gonna keep trying to find that comment, and if I find it, I'll talk about it. Are you sure it. it was in that video, though, and not just, like, something someone said once? No, it was in, because we were in Paris, and I was answering comments on a Paris video, I remember, and I was, I commented back. I said, I'll talk about this, like, this is a great idea. I'll talk about this when we get home. Like, I commented that back, and then I can't find that comment again, so I, oh. I forgot. I'll keep looking, but if Way you see this... Let me know what it was you want me to talk about and if any of you guys have anything else like you're struggling with or You know you have an idea of something you'd like to talk about Let me know in the comment section and I usually try to read and respond to as many comments as I can So I'll most likely catch your comment and I'll be able to respond to you and say thank you And I'll talk about that in tomorrow's video or whatever So we're gonna be doing another giveaway this weekend So stay tuned for that because we're gonna announce it this weekend, which is in two days So we're probably gonna film in today's video on Friday and it'll go up on Saturday for you guys So stay tuned for tomorrow's video because we're gonna announce our next giveaway. But again, guys, just remember to stay positive. I don't know, I find lately, maybe it's the change in weather, maybe it's, you know, how much fun I'm having with the videos or the trip to Paris. I don't know, but lately I find I've been really, really happy and it's been making life a little bit easier because then, like, things don't annoy you and things don't frustrate you and things don't make you angry. When you guys stay positive and be grateful for what you have and, and you try to live in a positive mindset, it makes life so much better and so much more fun because everything seems good too. Something bad will happen, you're like, eh, that's okay. It'll fix itself or it'll be better tomorrow. And you don't like dwell on the negative and you don't dwell on all the little things that might be going wrong in your life when really you have like 30 things going good and two things going bad and you focus on the two things going bad and forget about the 30 things going good. But if you focus on the 30 things that are going right, then the two things that are going not so good, it doesn't matter as much. So just try to, you know, live your life more balanced on the good side and less balanced on the bad side. I really hope and I would think that every single person has at least some things going good in their life. I feel like a lot of people also don't like think about the good things like they take for granted like if yeah you have exactly really good friends or something and then like something bad is going on with your boyfriend and all you're thinking about is wow this sucks like everything bad is going on in my life but you're not like taking into consideration like what about all your friends what about your family that loves you what about that like you know people just like yeah like, there's nothing well, just, to be happy about just like what i say is the fact that i'm making these videos and you're able to watch these videos means you have access to the internet and you have access to some sort of device to watch it on, right? You have access to a phone or a computer or maybe you have like Apple TV or like you're watching on the YouTube app on your PlayStation, like who knows, but you at least have access to those two things. And if you have access to those two things, well right there, you have yeah. two things to be grateful for, right? You have like enough freedom and money in your life to be able to afford some sort of a device to watch these videos on and some sort of access to the internet. Those are two things to be grateful for. And if you have a phone, I'm assuming you have a house to live in, right? I would, I don't think you have a internet and a phone and not have a house to live in. So there's another thing to be grateful for. And you probably have food on the table. So that's another thing to be grateful for. There's so many things we could look at in our life to be thankful for and not just dwell on the negative things. So try to think about that a little bit before we end the video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a little thumbs up. 
or a big thumbs up like this. Make sure you click subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any of our videos. You don't miss our giveaway coming out tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching so much. Have a wonderful day and Alex will see you tomorrow. No! Peace. Stop, Dad. Bye.